Of the estimated 240 million 911 calls placed a year, many areas receive 80% or more of these calls from wireless devices. With the use of cell phones, more and more citizens are reporting situations in real time. Communication centers are challenged to keep up with increasing call volumes while struggling to maintain staffing. This situation leads to potentially long wait times. While telecommunicators talk to 20 callers reporting the same accident, there could be a citizen experiencing a heart attack five miles away who waits, sometimes minutes, before their call is answered and life-saving help is sent or a citizen calling from a known domestic violence situation from a law enforcement identified phone number. TriTex CAD Plus 911 incorporates the intelligence within Inform CAD's duplicate call check to provide users with an immediate awareness of incoming calls and their location relative to other incidents nearby. By leveraging the information in Inform CAD, call takers have the option to segment and prioritize calls based on potential duplicates or additional caller and location information before the call is answered. So I'm going to go ahead and ring in a whole list of calls here with our call priority. And we're going to start to see all of these calls fill up in our queue. Now, the first and foremost, I said this relational information, what is that doing for me? So I now have a yellow hazard in that relational information column. That indicates that there are caution notes associated with that phone number, additional information. Now that could be coming from the um, 911 phone system, Inform 911, or that could be coming from CAD, um, from Inform CAD and being displayed to the user as a visual indication of those caution notes. Now as soon as I answer one of these calls, Inform 911 is going to attempt to help prioritize these calls for service. So right next to that caution note, I now have this red down arrow. That is indicating that these calls are a potential lower priority call than calls that are currently off hook. Now what we're using to determine whether it's a potentially a lower priority call based upon a couple of parameters that you as an agency would configure. Are there any high priority caution notes associated with these phone numbers? If there are, pull them up in queue. Is there any high priority caution notes attached to that location information in CAD? Maybe, maybe give them an indicator that this is a potentially higher priority call. The second piece we're going to look at is that are there any calls off hook that are within your agency's defined radius? So, if you get that huge accident on the freeway and you have you know, 10, 15, 20 people calling in all within a quarter mile of, a, of calls that are off hook. Now, in a traditional 911 center, I'll need to answer those calls in the order that they came in. I don't have any way of knowing before I answer the phone where this call could potentially be in relation to what's going on. But what we've done now is by leveraging some of that geospatial information, we're providing the call takers supervisors, anybody who could answer that phone, that this is potentially a lower or higher priority call. Now that doesn't mean that we're going to rearrange the call queue and, and force you to answer these calls in any different order, but maybe just prov again provide that visual indication that may give people a reason to potentially answer a different call. Maybe a supervisor now is going to look at this and say, you know what, I know that this call has been here maybe only two minutes and 34 seconds, and I have another call that's been here for five minutes, but that call that's been there for five minutes, it's a lower priority call. Maybe this other one, maybe I want to go ahead and pull it out of queue in order to determine if it's a higher priority. If I've got a baby that's not breathing, that has nothing to do or is not associated with that accident at all. So again, not rearranging your call queue, forcing you to answer calls in different order, but just providing that visual indication based upon information in CAD, information in 911 that may help you get to that emergency a little bit faster.